Checkmate on the Cold War. The epic chess battle of Fischer vs. Spassky. During the height of the Cold War, a legendary battle unfolded on the chessboard, captivating the world. The clash between American prodigy Bobby Fischer and Soviet champion Boris Spassky was not just a game of kings, it was a battleground of ideologies. In the scorching summer of 1972, Reykjavik, Iceland, became the epicenter of a chess showdown that transcended mere moves and tactics. As tension simmered between the United States and the Soviet Union, Fischer stood as a lone warrior challenging Soviet chess hegemony. The world held its breath as these two giants clashed, their every move echoing the political struggle gripping the globe. It was more than a chess match. It was a psychological and symbolic war fought over 64 squares. Fischer unleashed daring attacks, and Spassky defended with steely resolve, captivating the world. Spectators on both sides of the Iron Curtain recognized that the outcome held significance beyond the board. It represented a battle of wits, a microcosm of the larger power struggle between superpowers. When Fischer emerged victorious, it wasn't just a triumph for him alone. It was a triumph for freedom, the American dream, and a blow to the mighty Soviet chess machine. The United States reveled in the glory of their champion, basking in the symbolic victory over their rival. This epic duel showcased the extraordinary power of chess as a metaphor for warfare and competition between nations. It revealed the depths of strategy, the weight of each move, and the psychological warfare played out over the checkered battlefield. Bobby Fischer, born in Chicago in 1943, showed prodigious talent from a young age. He became a grandmaster at 15, setting a record as the youngest person to achieve this prestigious title at the time. Fischer's playing style was characterized by fierce determination an uncompromising attitude, and an unparalleled analytical approach. He was known for his relentless pursuit of perfection in his game and meticulous study of chess openings and endgames. Fischer's quest to dethrone Soviet dominance in chess became a personal mission. Boris Spassky, born in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, in 1937, emerged as a prominent figure in the Soviet chess scene. He was known for his dynamic and creative style of play, often employing imaginative and unpredictable moves. Spassky had already established himself as a top player before facing Fischer in the World Chess Championship. He had won multiple Soviet championships and had been a World Championship candidate. Spassky's calm demeanor and ability to handle pressure made him a formidable opponent. Fischer's eccentricities and intense focus on chess became synonymous with his persona. He had a reputation for being reclusive and creating controversies with his outspoken remarks and demands. Spassky, on the other hand, had a more relaxed and affable personality. He was admired for his sportsmanship and humility, earning respect from his peers and fans alike. The tension between the American prodigy and the Soviet champion added an extra layer of intrigue to their rivalry, turning their match into a captivating drama worldwide. After winning the world championship, Fischer became a recluse and disappeared from the chess scene for nearly 20 years. He resurfaced in 1992 to play a rematch against Spassky in Yugoslavia, violating international sanctions and facing legal troubles. Fischer's achievements and impact on chess led him to be regarded as one of the greatest chess players in history. During the 1972 World Chess Championship, he demonstrated humility and respect for the game, even amidst the intense political backdrop. After retiring from professional chess, Spassky remained involved in the chess community, coaching and mentoring young players. As the tension grew between Bobby Fischer and Boris Spassky during the 1972 World Chess Championship, the stakes were high for both players. The pressure was immense, and the world watched in anticipation. 
In the midst of the intense competition, something unexpected happened. Fisher, known for his eccentricities and occasional outbursts, began to struggle mentally. The stress of the match started taking a toll on him, affecting his performance. He missed moves, made errors, and fell behind in the match. It seemed as though Fisher was losing his grip on the championship. Witnessing his opponent's struggle, Spassky, a true sportsman, felt a mix of empathy and concern. Despite the fierce competition, he recognized the toll the pressure was taking on Fisher. In an incredible display of compassion, Spassky offered Fisher words of encouragement, reassuring him that he was a formidable opponent and that the match was far from over. Spassky's genuine display of empathy had a profound impact on Fisher. It reignited Fisher's fighting spirit and renewed his determination. Fisher found strength in the kindness shown by his opponent, and he started to regain his focus. With renewed vigor, Fisher staged a remarkable comeback, winning critical games and leveling the score. The match became a battle of resilience and willpower, transcending the chessboard. In the end, Bobby Fisher emerged victorious, winning the World Chess Championship. This emotional aspect of their encounter has become a memorable and often celebrated part of chess history. This reminds us that even in the midst of fierce competition, compassion and sportsmanship can transcend boundaries. As the video concludes, it leaves viewers with a powerful message. Chess is not just a game of strategy and intellect but also a reflection of our shared humanity.